Thank you very much. Actually, I'm not sure I really wanted to say anything, but you know, because uh, I cannot say that Isa Remu doesn't understand the issues, because I know he does. Uh, and while here, I wasn't sure whether he was speaking or whether he was master of ceremony or usher or, but look, on these issues, you know, why a lot of these things are, are personal to me? I'm happy you referred to Professor Oloede as being co-chairman, I mean co-secretary of the National Political Reform Conference. I was appointed secretary of the Political Reform Conference. The Muslims in northern Nigeria, through daily trust, there was no fight people didn't put up that I, Matthew Kuka, was a Christian, not a northerner. And it was part of that protest that in order to pacify the Muslims, Obasanjo was forced to bring Oloyede as my co secretary. Uh, Patricia Ete was speaker. We cannot sit here and pretend we don't know why she was removed. She was removed because the argument was how can one man be president, Christian, Senate president, Christian, speaker, most a Christian. And that was why the move was made. The accusation was that they, they made accusations against her. She was removed on the grounds that three Christians could not be holding these positions concurrently. And maybe they were right, but the person who came back to represent the Southwest was a Muslim, a Yoruba Muslim. That was in order to, for, to douse the tension. And we are sitting here in Nigeria. Are you going to pretend that you don't know that the iniquity in this country, we've never suffered psychological trauma like we're suffering. About. What did, did people sit for exam and fail? I don't think anybody is ever going to govern this country with this kind of blatant, unacceptable, literally criminal partisanship. So when you talk about Bishop Kuka being divisive, in what sense? I can understand that you are now holding government position. So you have arrived at the table. Well, that is understandable. And uh, as they say, in uh, uh, a professor, a professor who, was, who was really active in the university in Asu, when he was appointed to Abuja, after one month, six months, his colleagues said, oh, God, we are not hearing you. What is happening? He said, Abuja has table manners. When you are eating, you don't talk. <laughs> so I, I, I under, I'm not accusing you of, but I'm just saying... All the things you said here had absolutely nothing to do with my paper, beyond the preconceived notion that somehow Bishop Kuka has become a divisive factor. Of course there is difference between darkness and light. Of course there is difference between truth and lies. Of course there is difference between justice and injustice. I, and so we won't stand here and be pretending somehow, let's just keep moving. When I delivered my Christmas message, everybody was running riot. They said, Bishop Kuka, you've got... When people don't want to hear what you're saying in northern Nigeria, they say you are dividing Christians and Muslims. Ah, uh -uh. There must be a reason why we agree to be in this position, in this place called Nigeria. And clearly, I said in my Christmas message, unambiguously, I said it is more important to be a Muslim and a northerner than to be a Nigerian under the pr procedure for appointments in this, in this, in this, in this country. The chairman of the, of, 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 of the APC the communal receiving Catholic. Suddenly, we've now ended up with a country in which it is. So, when you talk of divisiveness, it is the state that has created the division, not we the victims. So, you are blaming the victim. You. Everywhere you turn in Nigeria, sorry, Tony, I will end. Everywhere you turn in Nigeria today, what are people telling you? We are living with injustice. People used to think only Ogoni people were suffering injustice. But now suddenly everywhere you turn and you are telling me about, about, about numbers and about this. <laughs> that we should all be, pre are we going to continue to pretend that yes, let's all move together. Beyond a particular point, you must ask, Nigerians went out of their way. And 
contributed massively to getting President Jonathan out of the way. Let's put it that way. But we didn't do this so that we'll come back and now see that being a Muslim is more important. Because that, that is the impression you're giving. Then, and I say it because it is a dent. Because this is not Islam. It's not the religion. The Islam that I know and I grew up with is not what is manifesting itself today. And there are many different